this, so let's try it out of the shower. We get the best ideas. I keep getting them. I started this one off by saying what Charles recently told me. Charles, friend, you know, a pair of good flip flops is worth their investment in gold. And um, I don't even know why. So I was wearing these regular beach flip flops, and then these, if you can see it, see them, you know, are the new ones that I got. Or I didn't get them, somebody got them for me, you know, somebody bought them for me. Uh, a guy on the other business bought them for me, and no, before you guys start thinking thoughts about, oh my god, has he transitioned, did he this, is he that, no. No gay stuff, no homosexual stuff, no heterosexual stuff, no, th although that other business, sexual in nature, uh, anyway, he wanted to buy it, he bought it, and uh, I was thinking, you know, it uh, it's substantially more expensive than flip-flops I normally buy. Now, now, I normally get the beach flip-flop types because they're comfortable, but outside out here in India, the road, the just terrible man, and he, he can't even fucking, uh, you know, just walking outside of those is a pain in the butt. And, uh, okay, I turned on the wrong light. No, I didn't. I forgot to turn off one of these. Okay. Like, I forgot to, uh, talk about all this in the last video I did. And so, you know, I bought those, and they're worth the price. Well, I didn't buy them. I requested someone to, or I told someone to buy them. He did. Um, and uh, they're worth the investment, you know, every penny, but not buying. But anyway, that's another reason, man, I'm such a huge fan of the other business. So I was talking about it to my friend, Eric uh, Tyrone. Tyrone, Eric, Mlock, what blanks? Who's Eric? Can you? Hey, uh, Tim. Chatmaster, you know, guy who pioneered MSN chat and all that. I don't know if you all know him. Guy who called uh, my one of my favorite child the push up, the floor humper push up, the Jack Lalonde push up. <laughs> uh, not out of my bubble butt, but just the position and you're going up and down. And anyway, um, I made this point about, and well, these are some old clothes I gotta give away. Better not forget this anyway. Uh, I made this point about uh, all that glitters isn't gold in the last fucking video, and I should have said this there, but I forgot, and it's good I forgot. Things happen for a reason. I forget for a reason, and here we are, another video. Well, my products most certainly are worth it. You know, I, I was speaking in that last video about, you know, fancy restaurants and fancy clothes. How many times have you bought, like, something with a fancy price tag in it? It turned out, you know, let's say a piece of clothing, it turned out you could have bought, you know, the generic stuff. Would have been just as good, if not better, you know. Food items, I found that, you know, for food, a lot of times. Uh, these local, maybe it's just my taste, but uh, these fancy five-star hotels or so-called, or, or so-called, you know, cuisine hotspots, balls, whatever. They charge you the earth, which they, you know, they're charging you for not just food, everything else. So I get it, but if you're going there to eat... Uh, you're better off, you know, going to a local eatery or something because uh, you'll get more, you'll get more wholesome food, home cooked food, maybe, you know, closer to home cooked food. You'll pay less than a fraction of the price. Now, that might be just me, I don't know. Uh, but it's, but the fact holds true. All that glitter is ain't gold. Anyway, now, that doesn't hold true for everything. Some stuff like, some products like, especially like, maybe like beer, I don't know. Corona versus, or uh, fuck man, you know, I made the mistake of not putting this on airplane mode. Some motherfucker called me and the whole thing uh, shut down. Anyway, concatenate time. Corona versus uh, regular beer, you know. Uh, no, I wasn't doing what you think I was. I was simply drawing myself off. Corona versus regular beer. Um, corona, hands down, you know. Uh, my point is this. Uh, I say this about my products because, number one, it's true, and I've often said two things, results, talk, bullshit walks, you can talk about money talks, bullshit walks as well, both are true. Results, well, my all out there in the open, I don't think, so I'm going to talk about you, I'm going to talk about customers, you know, you guys that have bought my products or considering or maybe will buy, or those of you that hate me, those of you that love me, all of you. Uh, 
the litmus test of any product, man, isn't so much the marketing, isn't so much, you know, the hype behind it, isn't so much what the product is itself, but what it does for you as a customer. But that can only be measured by action. What people do is way more important than what they talk about, all right? There's a lot of people who brand my products as too expensive, yet they buy them. There's a lot of people that a customer of mine said if they don't see that as your products as pure gold, then all the convincing in the world won't convince them otherwise. True enough, John, true enough, and I don't even try, you know. Uh, it's about what people do, and what they do is motivated a lot of times, especially when it comes to buying stuff by feeling, emotion, not so much rational minds. Yeah, that's there too, but... We buy based upon emotion, everybody, you know, to a certain extent. And the marketing plays a whole huge role in it, yes. But um, here's the bottom line, man. I'm talking about the silent majority here, you know, like Polly said in Rocky IV, the unheard majority. I'm not talking about the idiots that Tom Tom on Twitter and social media, YouTube, whatever. All of these guys that see what I do, see what I post, both on this business, the other business, they pull out their wallets and they buy. They pay the prices. They don't even ask me for discounts. They simply pay the price, get the product, leave the review. And, and well, people are notoriously lax about not leaving reviews, but many do. And people continue to silently buy. Silent sends are the best, I keep saying on the other business. Uh, it's all about, uh, you know, those base instincts, which we all have, but uh, no one acknowledges. And you'd be surprised at how many people, you know, my friend Tyrone, his friend, typical alpha male, yet he's a night flirt and stuff, and you'd never guess it, looking at him, you know, who he talks to. Hey, Honesty is key. Honesty is what makes money, you know. This movie, idiotic movie I was watching, Sings of the Great, you know, typical masala movie, Sunny Deal, but the one line in it that's wrong through, honesty is ultimately the greatest weapon. And that shines through. If you're honest, no matter what you do, what you say, ultimately the truth prevails. The results prevail. And here's the bottom line. Those of you that have spent... People that are spending money on something... Uh, value that thing, and they're spending that money for a reason, and if they continue to, that alone tells you that my products are worth it, their investment in spades, gold, whatever you choose to call it. You know, uh, we value that which we pay for, we tend not to value that what we get for free, unless you're part of the rare, very rare minority that takes advantage of free stuff and then actually uses it to benefit themselves. Um, some people have, you know, they've become multi-millionaires doing just that, you know, all credit to them. But um, most people, if, if, it's, if they see a fancy price tag, oh yeah, it must be great. So there's both sides to that coin, man, there's both sides to that coin. But when it comes to my products, you know, you just have to talk to people. Don't just believe what I say, don't just believe what you read on the internet, don't just, even if you think my results are genetic, even though they're obviously not, don't even believe that. Contact and talk to people that have actually purchased my products, paid full price for them, haven't complained. Those are the people that will really give you the real scoop on my products. And they'll gladly tell you, um, not just on this business, but the other one. Last but not least, this lady Paula that I cannot stop talking about, done great work for me, continues to. On this business, it's different, but she does it for the other business, and she hasn't asked for a penny, but for all her great work, she's like, your work is simply superlative, I love it. Now, so many people say that. Why is she different? Because she does something. She doesn't, she doesn't just say it and then not buy it. And believe me, she hasn't bought a single product on the other side. Not a, this one, I don't know, maybe. But the other side, not a, zilch, zilch not a. Yet she continues to do such great work for me, give me great ideas, you know, her comments, her reviews. She's done so many video reviews for me that, you know, I've been telling people here to do all of it from the heart, herself. You can feel that sincerity, that emotion, you know. And that, my friend, is ultimately 
the sort of person you need to listen to when it comes to figuring out if I'm being completely honest here. I obviously am, but uh, or I wouldn't say it, but uh, you know, all that glitters is not gold. My products truly are, though. They're gold, like John Walker recently said, and many other customers have. Okay? It's what people do, it's what people feel, it's what people actually not just say, but think about and want to get when they're all alone. It's about their purchases. Money talks, bullshit walks, results talk, everything else flies out the window. Those are factors you need to consider. Think about it.